take a look at the still image you are seeing on screen here. Now, this is not momentum control. This is just normal private match with a lonesome. This is a precision frame sidearm. I want you to take a guess in the comment section what you think might be going on here, if you want to play along. I'm going to tell you how to get ridiculous buffs out of your sidearms with ease. Sidearms tend to get a mixed review whenever you're talking to somebody who plays Destiny regularly. The primary reason for this is that there's a very deep divide between console and PC when it comes to this weapon archetype. On PC, they don't have the aim assist to make them as consistent as they are on console. The console aim assist really helps these things stay consistent for hitting headshots or just hitting body shots when you're moving around a lot. They rarely ever get a serious amount of play when you're talking to people who really hard simp hand cannons because a lot of the times the argument comes up why would i run a sidearm that has less range when i'm capable of doing a hand cannon with a close ttk for much further away well i think bungie has been quietly keeping some stuff under wraps in particular i would like to introduce you to the mechaneer's trick sleeves now at base these are fine these are okay there's nothing super duper special about them they're capable of reloading your sidearms very quickly when you press the reload button they don't auto reload like some of the other stuff which i was annoyed with at first but i think i understand why now secondly if you take critical damage and you swap over to a sidearm you'll have a brief period of bonus damage and thirdly they can be swapped to incredibly quickly the gameplay that you're seeing in the background here is me using Lemonark. I've been enjoying the absolute hell out of Lemonark. One of the biggest reasons I haven't been using Lemonark this season is that I have a build that I really like to run, which runs a legendary bow with Harmony and the Rat King. With the legendary bow, I can put the quick access sling mod on it, allowing me to fire the bow shot off and quickly swap into my Rat King for the cleanup. It makes for a beautifully synergistic build, allowing me to shut down aggressive shotgun players with ease. But Lomonarch being an exotic bow can't slot weapon mods, so it was always a reservation for me, something I didn't want to really invest too much into because I knew I wouldn't be able to achieve that level of lethality, despite Lemonarch being fantastic. I decided more or less just kind of for experimentation reasons to try these trick sleeves just for the sake that they can swap so efficiently. And what I discovered is that the sidearm subfamily as a whole, especially with the trick sleeves, are disgustingly powerful and that's for both pvp and for pve the damage buffs that you're able to see here are completely transferable to pve it probably is a little bit easier to set up too what exactly is going on in this image what are you seeing that's happening here first of all there is a charge with light mod called surprise attack which allows you to get a big bonus a quote-unquote major damage buff when you are switching to a sidearm or reloading a sidearm while you have a charge with light. This will give you five rounds, what is effectively five rounds of kill clip. If that sounds somewhat familiar, you can think of Memento Mori. That's right. This mod effectively gives you a weird version of Memento Mori for your sidearms. You can't switch back off the weapon, it will go away. But the cool thing is, is that if you fire the shots off and they don't hit anything, unlike Memento Mori, you will keep that damage buff going. It has to hit a target in order for it to proc, which means assuming you stay on that sidearm, that's just for one charge of light. Five rounds of kill clip guaranteed to hit targets or death, or you swap. It's really nice. Now that's pretty darn cool. That's pretty nice but it gets a little bit better. All of these damage bonuses that we've discussed so far, the Mechaneer's Trick Sleeve and the High Energy Fire, or in my case, the Surprise Attack, all stack together with damage bonuses that you can get from your gun. Let me repeat that. You're capable of stacking Kill Clip, High Energy Fire, or Surprise Attack, and the Mechaneer's Trick Sleeves. That is a over 60% damage bonus. To put that in perspective, this is capable of two tapping a Guardian at full health at maximum resilience. It does not matter. You will be able to with a precision frame sidearm like this Lonesome of two tapping a Guardian with only two of these damage bonuses stacked together. Now, you might look at this and go, OK, that's really cool, but I mean, there's a lot of unusual and niche circumstances that can come up that can make a weapon feel ridiculous. But here's the thing with even just one damage stack, this is capable of three tapping a guardian. Now, 
if you're wondering what that means in terms of like perspective with the meta, the last word fires slightly slower, 225 RPMs versus the Lonesome's 260 RPM. So what that means to you here is that the Lonesome with a faster fire rate is capable of out DPSing the freaking last word. An exotic weapon is capable of being out DPSed with one of these very easy to achieve damage bonuses. The nice thing with this is that all of these damage bonuses can come from a variety of different sources, and it is very likely that for almost every single engagement, you're going to have at least one, and it is very easy to stack them up to the maximum, which is three. For example, if you just get a single kill, reload, kill clips proc'd, that's a damage bonus, you can three tap. Get a double kill, pick up a charge of light, that's a damage bonus, you can three tap. A friendly pops their super near you. Well, if you are running the powerful friends and the radiant light, that's a charge of light, you're capable of three tapping. You take damage and swap to your sidearm, that's a three tap. If you can get these to stack to just two of these damage bonuses, you're capable of doing something like a two head, one body. I was running this with a simple charge with light, high energy fire, just a very, very simple stuff, not even running the surprise attack mod. And I am capable of dealing around 90 damage to a target when I get this all set up. This makes for an absolutely disgustingly powerful setup for all sidearms. You can take this into PVE as well. It is far easier to get charge of lights from PVE enemies as double kills are much, much easier. Now, if you really want to push this idea further, you can run a three burst sidearm. They're capable of with just two burst killing a guardian outright, which is already pretty good. And with the 60% bonus damage that we're able to get out of everything that we're seeing here, it is capable of dealing around 170 with just one burst. The problem with that is that it's still just shy of being able to one shot a guardian, which is of course an important damage number. Still great, but not as effective as being able to two tap with a 260. You're gonna be roughly around the same TTK because you're not able to get all of that damage bonus to happen in one trigger pull. I highly recommend giving this a try. I've never been more impressed by an entire subfamily with a very easy to establish mod setup. If you are a fan of the channel, I wanna let you know that these weapon reviews have been struggling severely lately. If you're interested in keeping these going, please let me know with a like and a share. I'm considering branching out into other games like Halo, so let me know in the comment section if that's something you're interested in. If you're new, subscribe. Bless your faces, deuces.